Welcome back, Pokemon fans. My name is Angel of the Night 091, and we are going to get into battle number four in the singles ranked of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Now, in this battle here, our opponent's going to lead off here with a Dragapult. I'm going to lead off here with my Annihilate. Now, both Pokemon, of course, are of the ghost typing. However, I've got fighting. He's got Dragon. Now, at this time, I don't know which Pokemon is going to be able to outspeed which, so I'm kind of debating on if I'm going to maybe swap out to a different Pokemon. However, I do have Ice Punch here. I've got Rage Fist. I'm thinking I'm going to just go in for that Ice Punch off onto the Dragapult. And then, of course, at this time, I'm getting surprised by a Terra Typing right off the bat in the very beginning of this battle. So as you can see here, Terra Type Ghost for this Dragapult is going to be a thing. Not an unusual typing, of course, because it's obviously a ghost-type Pokemon. He's going to go in for the Shadow Ball here. Shadow Ball is going to be doing some crazy amount of damage off onto Annihilate. We're going to go in for that Ice Punch, and as you can see, it's not going to be able to do very much damage. If it had maybe kept its Dragon typing, it might have been able to do a whole lot more. So we're actually going to swap out the Annihilate. We're going to go into our Meowskarata. Now, Meowskarata, of course, is a Dark type and a Grass type. However, you guys are going to be able to see that I do have the Protein ability. So I'm going to be swapping up my typings based on my Pokemon's moves that I do. So we actually end up taking that Shadow Ball like a champ. However, we do get the Special Defensive Drop. Um, I'm going to go in for the knockoff here, thinking I'm going to be able to speed this Dragapult. Absolutely not. Uh, Dragapult's going to get that Flamethrower off and just going to be able to one-shot this Meowskarata. So, unfortunately for us, we've lost a Pokemon. Our Annihilate's in very poor condition. I basically just have Baxcalibur left. Now, Baxcalibur, of course, should be able to be able to take a Flamethrower uh, to the face because of the Thermal Exchange. However, I'm a little concerned in regards to Dragon Darts. I'm going to go in for the Glaive Rush here because I think Glaive Rush should be able to just one-shot this Dragapult. And at this time, I'm pretty sure my opponent's deciding on what they want to do. They want to either swap out or maybe do some damage off here. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I probably would have swapped Dragapult here off to a different Pokemon, but I'd be fearing that Glade Rush. So in comes Flamethrower. I get the Thermal Exchange boost, get my attack stat boosted. And of course, we're going to come in for that Glade Rush. Going to get some decent damage off onto that Dragapult and just knock it out. So with the Dragapult out of the field here now, we do still have two of our Pokemon. They have two Pokemon. It's kind of an even matchup here. However, in comes Sylveon. And I'm a little bit concerned in regards to Sylveon on the field, obviously, because of the fairy typing. So I'm going to go in for the Terra, uh, Terra Ice. So with the Terra Ice onto the field, of course, I've changed my typing into a pure Ice type at this time. So any fairy type attacks that come my way shouldn't do a crazy amount of damage. Now Sylveon, of course, um, the Hyper Voice and with its special attack stat, it's going to be able to do a ton of damage off onto Baxcalibur. I'm deciding I'm going to try to see if I can outspeed it and go for the Icicle Crash. I don't know if Icicle Crash is going to be able to knock out this Sylveon or not, but we'll be able to see here in the next round. Um, if we only end up having Annihilate left, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to take that Sylveon, just because of the whole type uh, disadvantage here. So they're going to swap out Sylveon. They're going to go into their next Pokemon, which is actually a Hippowdon. So it's going to set up the Sandstream, going to take away my Snowscape. And in comes the Ice School Crash. Now, Ice School Crash, of course, is going to be super effective onto that Hippowdon. It has no chance of survival, so it actually ends up getting knocked out. Now, the only Pokemon that remains is actually Sylveon here. With the Sandstream, it is going to slowly take away the health from the Vaxcalibur, but that's okay. Um, at this time, we might be able to still outspeed, get a decent amount of Ice School Crash off here. Um, but time will tell. As you guys can tell, my, my voice is starting to get a little bit affected here. Um, I had just recovered from COVID and then the flu. So if you hear some differences in my voice, I apologize. So we end up getting knocked out by Sylveon here with uh, Baxcalibur. Not a whole lot of options for us left to go to. Um, honestly, Annihilate, I don't think can take Sylveon. 
I might be able to go for the Rage Fist here. But I'm not sure if that's going to be able to knock him out. As you can see, it doesn't really get the knockout. There's a Hyper Voice, and that is going to be the match. So unfortunately, we get a loss here. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the battle. If you did, post your comments. I'd like to hear from you, and have a fantastic day.